Hey friends, today we are going to be doing some Disney prop and memorabilia shopping. I hear there's some Haunted Mansion props at one of my favorite antique malls along with some pieces of Cinderella Castle from the 25th anniversary, the Cake Castle, that I've never seen before. Anywho, let's go do this. We are in Lakeland, Florida at the Lakeland Antique Mall and I come here quite often and there are tons of vendors in here. So everything's for sale and I'll put all the information in the description below and you can call the Antique Mall and reach out if you actually want more information or even if you want to buy some items. I always love coming to the Lakeland Antique Mall because there are hundreds of vendors in here. So there's always new items coming in, new vendors, so many historical items that you get to purchase. And it's crazy, like the things that you can buy here. And I love it. And it's about 45 minutes from Walt Disney World. And like I said, I'll put all the information in the description in case you ever want to visit. In the beginning of the video, I said that there was going to be some Haunted Mansion props here today. And take a look at this. This is a Haunted Mansion photo opportunity. I love this. It's a gigantic book. And it's got the classic like Haunted Mansion wallpaper back there. Oh, it's a gigantic spell book. And Disney would use this as like a photo opportunity, either for like a special event or for Run Disney maybe. And I love it. Like, this is so cool. Memento More over there. And then it's got some of the spells in here from Madame Leota. Goblins and ghoulies from last Halloween. Awaken the spirits with your tambourine. I love this. This is so cool. There's no price on it, though, so you're going to have to make an offer. If you're interested, you have to call down. But it's massive, and I love it. So you just stand in here and you take a photo. That is so cool. I, I Honestly, I love this. I'm going to try to say all the prices for everything. Like I said, uh, if you have any information, you can call down. I'll put the information in the description. Sometimes things are marked with the price. Sometimes they're not. So I'll do my best. But if there is anything, you know, you can just call and check on it. The Haunted Mansion photo opportunity is a part of Vault Collectibles. So if you, like I said, want to reach out, I'll put all that information in the description below. Here is their contact information. And uh, yeah, it looks really fancy. Another thing that I talked about in the beginning of the video that I was really excited to check out was the pieces of the Birthday Cake Castle, Cinderella Castle, here at Walt Disney World for the 25th anniversary. There are so many. So you can actually own a piece of Cinderella Castle. And that is so cool. Like, that's got to be one of the best bragging rights ever. And take a look at this. This is so crazy and awesome i am mind blown like i said a piece of cinderella castle and there are so many of them here this is from the 25th anniversary the birthday cake castle you can see it right here and these are actual pieces so if you see this gigantic walt disney world sign right here with the 25th and the carriage this is right here they show you on the castle where it was at so this is a one-of-a-kind piece and it's selling for five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars but that is so amazing and then you can own other pieces too like i know this flower has been here for a while but they have a lollipop in the corner there that's from the castle itself i can't read the price too much oh these little hearts right here this heart is from the castle. Oh, this is only $2,500. And look, you can see where the hearts are at. These are so, like, unbelievably amazing. This is history. I thought this was from the castle, too. But this is from... Oh, yeah. Uh, Toontown. Yeah. A barrel of corn from Disney's Toontown. Look at that. This is selling for $3,300. But I love this. Like... Everything's pretty amazing here. Oh, and there's another heart back there. And this big flower right here in the center was from the center of the uh, castle. I'm gonna blur out, but yeah, right here, see, that's where it was at. And that is so cool. And also, I found this awesome Epcot sign from 2000. Look at this. This is so nifty. This is five, oh, $595, so almost $600 for a really cool retro Epcot sign. Nothing on the back there, but I just love it. I love stuff like this. It's really Disney history. It belongs in a museum. That really gives me goosebumps. The fact that I can own a piece of Cinderella Castle for $2,500. Like, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it. <laughs> All of the castle cake pieces is a part of Recycling the Magic booth, Becky and Pat right here. So I'll put their information in the description below too. And we'll show a lot more of their booth because like I said, they have so much going on in here. The Disneyland Hotel banner there, there's a lot. So we're gonna get to, like I said, we have a lot of stuff to look at today. 
like I said, I am a sucker for anything Disney and I love like signage and pictures, things that were used in the parks and the resorts and you can really find some cool stuff like that Epcot sign. That Epcot sign is like really, really nifty. Take a look at this super rare Grand Floridian vintage sign. Please pardon the inconvenience. This area is under construction. Thank you. Isn't that so cool? This is from the Grand Floridian, $8.95. $895 for that. And also I seen one over here. Now this is really cool and you wouldn't know where it's from unless somebody told you, but this is from the Disney ferry boat. Like it's a warning. It's like, a, due to low water levels, guests using wheelchairs should board the ferry boat moving with their larger wheels first. That is cool, that's $395. Here is another 25th anniversary sign from the parks. This is like a smaller scaled down version of the big one that's $5,000 over there, but this one's only $399. And then actually what it's sitting on is a really nifty, uh, the seas with Nemo and friends from Epcot. This is from the store in there. So look how cool that is. This is what they're using kind of like to hold it up, but I like that. This is kind of unique. This is selling for $795. Not all of the things are old either. Some of the stuff is kind of new and it's awesome to see things that kind of just happen end up down here that you can actually purchase from like Walt Disney World. As you can see right here, there's tons of cool picture frames from the different resorts. And I love this one down here. This one I've seen a couple of times and it's the train from Fort Wilderness. And this is super cool. It's selling for uh, $1,200, but take a look at this. Like I said, not everything is old. This is the uh, room artwork from the contemporary, the incredible rooms. Isn't that so cool? This is selling for $499. I love it. And then they also have the Pinocchio framed artwork from Lampwork here. That is another cool piece. I mean, if you're a big Pinocchio fan, you'll like this a lot. $995 for that, but it's just so beautiful. Let me know in the comments what you think the coolest item is that I'm showing you guys. Like I said, it's gonna be a little tough for me though, either between the Cinderella Castle pieces or that Haunted Mansion photo opportunity. And also, if you know where that uh, photo opportunity is from, like I said, it's either gonna be a special event, cast event, run Disney, but if you know, let me know in the comments because that is so, that's very special. Now these look really interesting too. I love this. This is vintage Disney wall planters and you got Mickey, Minnie, and you got Goofy here and then Piglet, which is kind of random, but I do love the Goofy one. And these are selling for $95 a piece. Now they're very delicate, so you have to be careful with them, but I love these. This is really, really cool. $95. I would probably go with the whole set of them actually though. Also, take a look at Donald and the Lonesome Ghost, Disney Store Props. That is so awesome. They're like gigantic big figs from the Disney Store. These are selling for $7,495. I'm a guest together, like you get it together, but it's so cool because you got Donald with the, uh, the net trying to catch the Lonesome Ghost. And then you got the Mad Hatter over there selling for $4,995. Oh, Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket, that is $995. These are all really amazing. I like how they have the prices on them too. Like this is some good stuff. Dumbo, Timothy, Jim Crow. That's almost 11 grand for the, the collection there. Up next, we're gonna show you guys some really cool Universal Studios and Halloween Horror Night props. But before that, I wanna show you some like nice memorabilia pieces. It's not just props and things that were used in the parks. These are just really cool vintage memorabilia pieces that I kind of love because it's from some of my favorite movies. Take a look at this limited edition collection for James and the Giant Peach. Isn't that so cool? And it's huge too, but I love this. James and the Giant Peach is one of my favorites. I loved it so much. This is selling for $145 and there's only 2,400 of them made. And you can see some really nice Pinocchio pieces here. $3.95 in the box. I'm not too sure what this is. It's just marked, it's a small world. I'm gonna have to maybe see, maybe open it up there in a second, but they have a lot of great stuff. Ooh, some old Pirates of the Caribbean candles. These are from Disneyland, from uh, New Orleans Square. These are so cool, $85 for these. I love it. <laughs> Look at that, oh wow. Now that it says that on the bottom, it actually gets me even more excited. That is such a cool find right there. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more of the Disney stuff, but right now, last time I was down here, uh, they were selling a lot from Shrek. 
the attraction at Universal Studios and they ended up getting a lot more so it's really cool to see more pieces come in and I figured I'd show you those since a lot of people really like them look at this they still have a lot left over too but i love it look at <laughs> it's so cool in here pinocchio still up there don't forget we got spider-man and then also we got some of the uh torture devices here that's really awesome the rope hanging over there i'd like to see a little shrek thing and still plenty of uh, shrek 3d glasses available only five dollars here is a really cool harry potter sign this is from the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child Parts 1 and 2. I'm not too sure what it was for. It was from Universal Studios. It's selling for $295, but I like it. I love anything Harry Potter. <laughs> if anybody was a fan of the Mardi Gras tribute store at Universal Studios, you'll remember the Space Gator, and here's the actual head. Like, isn't that so cool? A gigantic Space Gator head. This is selling for $399. This is so cool though. I like it a lot. And then it uh, looks like you just have another piece over here. Oh, actually this is, uh, oh yeah, this was actually used in there too. This is where they were designing everything. So you can get both. I also mentioned that they had some really cool Halloween Horror Night props too. And I'm excited for this year's HHN. I'm pumped, but there's some really cool things here from years past that I like, even uh, Halloween Horror Nights 30. Take a look at that right there. And I also like this right here. I like this just a little sign here, $575 for that. And then if you guys remember, now this is really cool, but if you remember the scary uh, billboard, like this is the heads from the billboard. It's kind of creepy looking though. Like I like it though, $499. Right here you can recognize it if you don't remember. And then they also have the other one over here. They have the Mr. and the Mrs. That is so cool. And I'm trying to see how much this is. Oh, $4.99 for this one. But look at the way they just stare at you though. <laughs> Here is another cool piece that I really don't know much about, but it is from Disney. And uh, it was park used. Walter from restaurant. Disney parks used waiter. I said Walter. <laughs> That's so funny, but it's $225. I feel like I've seen it at Tony's before. I'm not too sure though. Let me know in the comments if you guys recognize this from any of the Walt Disney World restaurants because that is a really cool piece, especially if it was at like a really signature restaurant. I remember being obsessed with the Pop Century headboards, but the Art of Animation ones are so cool too, and they have one for sale here. Check that out. This is an Art of Animation headboard. So this was above the bed, and I love this. This is selling for four. $4.99 and I think the lights go in there and then they also have the Pirates of the Caribbean or the Pirates Room mirrors from uh, Caribbean Beach. Look at that. $349. That is so cool. I love like the little tiny pirate symbols and everything. Oh wow. That is amazing. See you guys kind of catch my live reaction when I find something that's awesome to me I think it's awesome, but you guys know Hester and Chester's shop inside uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom well the uh, gift shop to the exit of dinosaur and they have a train running above look at this It's an actual train from there $195 This is so precious. I really love this <laughs> I'm actually starting to find a lot of really cool Animal Kingdom pictures too. So we definitely hit the Animal Kingdom jackpot over here. Take a look at this opening day Animal Kingdom map display right here. That is so awesome. Look, it even says opening team right here. This is $149 and look at the frame itself too. This is a wonderful piece for $149. Like I'm kind of blown away by it. I really, really do love it. And then down here, take a look at this elephant mirror. This is selling for $5.95. And then above, they have another kind of nice Animal Kingdom framed art. This is selling for $125. So there's some really cool things here. Oh, and then over here, looks like this is a boardwalk one. I love this. Oh, look, you got Cinderella Castle in the background right there. This has to be from the boardwalk. Oh yeah, $2.99 for this. $2.99, and I think that's worth every single penny. Oh, and what's behind it? See, I get so excited. Oh, a vintage Hollywood Tower Hotel sign. I don't know what the price for that is, though. 
here are a couple of interesting things too. And these are actually interesting because of their age, but I love this. Look, we got a little rocker, a Mickey rocker. They're actually all rockers. And you can see some of them show a little wear and tear. Take a look at this Bambi though. I have to be very gentle with this. Walt Disney's Bambi right there, it's a rocker. And then down here, you can see like a little jumper and it's Dumbo. This one is so cool. Very, very old, but also, like I said, very awesome. And the prices kind of vary on this. This is $195 for Bambi there, but I love that. And look, you get a little tail at the back there. And then I don't see a price for the Mickey ones. Well, oh, this is like a swinger. This isn't a rocker though. And this is Walt Disney Enterprise in the back. Here's another really cool picture. This is from Coronado Springs, and it's the Three Caballeros. I just stayed there recently and they had this picture hanging in the room. That is so cool. I don't have a price for this one either. It means like it's not on there. Oh, this is from the Grand Floridian behind it too. Oh, these are actually all very nice. Not even too sure. I'm just gonna keep looking. Yes, words are useless. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Edna Mode. So this must be from the contemporary right there probably. Ooh, some more contemporary resort artwork. This is $98. And then you can see we have some, oh, Cruise Line movie pictures. The Jungle Cruise, Captain Marvel, Onward. So these are all from the Cruise Line. Frozen, that's very nice. Oh, and then a classic little Bambi artwork. I like that. I'm not seeing any prices on them though. The stickers might be hidden, but I don't want to move it around too much. Wow, this is such a random piece right here, but it's so funny because, so as you may know, the All-Star Celebrity Apprentice was actually from Universal Studios. So this is a sign, uh, it's a Universal Studios prop. And look at that, like you've got <laughs> Brett Michaels in there, you've got Penn and Teller, Dennis Rodman, of course Donald Trump was the host, Gary Busey, this is such a weird, oh, Dean Snyder? And I think that's Little John there too. But this is so strange. $95 for this whole entire piece right here. And then also you have the Tonight Show with uh, starring Jimmy Fallon, audience check-in right here. That's cool. I wonder if that's from when he uh, came and actually did the show. I mean, that would be actually really awesome. I know that the prices can be a little bit high for certain things because they are super rare and they're very hard to come by and it's a very popular thing but even though a lot of the stuff is like priced high there are affordable things where you get to buy and like bring home a piece of Disney that you can find here and I really like that a lot even history like just have a piece of Disney history one of the things I always like to point out that is kind of affordable and it's really awesome are these individual framed tickets and passes. And like I said, it's a little bit of Disney history that you can purchase. And you have Disneyland tickets from the 1970s for $20. Then you have attraction tickets too, like sea, uh, sea ticket attractions. These are from Disneyland. They also have Disney World ones too as well. They have them all over the place. And like I said, it's not too... It's not too expensive. It's actually really interesting. Oh, look at this. This is a uh, Animal Kingdom parking pass. I think this is from opening day for $25. Oh, and here's another one from 1998 for $25. So like a lot of this stuff. Oh, this one is really awesome. This is a uh, Empress Lily card for $25. But see, that's what I mean. Those are really, that's, that's not bad priced. Even the littlest things are kind of cool and fascinating, especially if you stayed at like Disney World Resorts and you remember certain things, they kind of make you feel nice. You know what I mean? Like the shower curtains or the bed runners, you can actually find all of them here. Like they have basically every single resort available. Look, you can see they have like the uh, Timon and Pumbaa uh art of animation shower curtain like this is so cool this is 59 dollars then they have art of animation the prop bed runner right here then they have oh the polynesian the polynesian one was really cool saratoga springs like i said it goes on and on they have tons and it's just awesome animal kingdom animal kingdom this one's really cool this one's from saratoga springs it has the fox and the hound on it $39 and it's not that bad priced. Oh, and then this right here is a gigantic marble table from the Grand Floridian. Look how like it, it I mean it's aged, but it's still very, very unique. $250 for this. Oh, okay. Now I've just stumbled upon some really, really cool things I can't wait to show you. 
This right here is a Disney Tower of Terror pre-production prototype and it's a one-of-a-kind resin figure uh, and it was produced by Disney artists as a mock-up for a proposed Tower of Terror big fig statue and that's really cool actually I like it a lot it says the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror and it's actually selling for about $3,500 but they are you know taking offers so you can uh, make an offer if you wanted to and then also take a look at all these other things too like look at this Walt Disney character firefighters like a little Gracie there I think that's so awesome this is something I've been eyeing up for a while though I love this piece right here this is the apple from Snow White's scary adventure like the actual apple so when the witch turns around in that one scene and she's holding that apple that's it right there one of a kind 1995 I love it though so cool and then also another random thing is an Amelia Earhart uh, business card over here look at that so many fun things oh and also I, I always point this out too but this is a Walt Disney autographed Snow White doll this is selling for twelve thousand five hundred dollars but it's Snow White and it's signed right on the leg down here by Walt Disney himself. And it comes with the uh, certificate of authenticity. Most of this stuff will all come with some COOA, especially if it's from the Disney Anna. And when I tell you guys that this store, like the, the antique mall is huge, like. I, there's no way that I can actually show it to you all in a haul and whenever someone actually comes here after they've watched the video They always tell me like wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought like it's so hard to navigate through here And there are so many things not just Disney like it is just massive And it's just so fun to just walk around and get lost in the history and just look at some amazing Antique things some things that are new props and just everything Just to give you an idea like look at this there's a Ronald McDonald head up there, a unicorn. Like, there are so many cool things here. And like I said, you can just go for for hours, basically. It's it's a, almost a all day experience. This is from United Airlines. Ooh, we have a Donald Duck head down here. This is selling for $159. The United Airlines guy is $499. Then they have tons of different pictures over here. Oh, I love these concession ones. Coke and a burger, Coke and a popcorn. These are actually really cool. I'm not even sure, $149 for those. That's not too bad. Wow, I just actually stumbled upon something that's really, really cool. Sadly though, it does have a little stat, like a little tick, uh, ticket on it that says, I'm sorry, it's not for sale, but maybe, they're, maybe they'll might like take an offer, but this is really cool. If you guys remember the Aladdin parade that was at MGM Studios, and of course the spinning camels that are in Magic Kingdom right now, this was a gigantic parade float. And take a look at this. It's the actual like round guys. I don't even know what you'd call them, the Sultans? No, I don't know, they're not Sultans, but that's so cool. But it's not for sale yet. But look how massive this is. I mean, that is such a cool piece right there. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. There's a big mixture of things back here that is really cool to point out. First, I want to point out this right here. I mean, honestly, this is so iconic because I love it so much. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll let you guys think about it first. But it's one of my favorite places to stay. It's a Disney resort and uh, I love it. It's a little chair that they would have actually at Bay Lake Tower. And I'll show it to you and you'll, you'll remember immediately once you get off the elevators. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? They're selling this for $400 and I love it. I think I would pay $400 for this. Like that's amazing. And then over here, we have some tables from Hollywood Studios Pizza Planet. Pizza Planet tables. Oh, that's a Pizza Planet table over there with the Toy Story characters on it. That's really awesome. Oh, and this is a table from the uh, Spirit of Aloha, the Aloha. That is so cool, like these are really awesome. This is only $95, this one's $495, but Pizza Planet is sadly no more, and it says PP, PP. <laughs> and of course, I can't come over to the Lakeland Antique Mall without stopping and seeing Melly's Remarket. I told you guys before, like this is all original artwork that she does. She basically creates, like this is her art and I love it and it's always amazing just to point out the cool things like right here is the blueprints for a monorail and cinderella castle and a picture frame look at this awesome walt disney world resort she makes these frames everything blueprints for the haunted mansion i love it 
it is so cool and they're like not like expensive like they're very well priced this right here is 180 dollars for this retro walt disney world and even this haunted mansion one it doesn't have a price on it though let me see 225 dollars for this that is amazing and guys like i said if you want to check her out here is her information i'll flip the card open for you there we go melly's remark booth 142 and it's got our information too so i'll put that in the description as well well that was a lot of fun i didn't end up buying anything this trip but there's a lot of things that i do want to buy i mean there's some pretty amazing stuff down there and like i said let me know in the comments like put money to the side if you could just pick one thing what would it be i love reading people's answers because you know what i mean i showed you guys a lot of stuff in there and now i think instead of going home maybe i'll just hop over to hollywood studios and hang out there for a little bit meet up with some friends and just kind of enjoy the evening I'm starting to think that I'm making Hollywood Studios my go-to evening park. Like, I used to go to Epcot a lot at night, but for some reason I've been coming to Hollywood Studios. I just like walking around, and everything at Hollywood Studios is actually really close to each other. And the park's open till 9 o'clock, so it's like my new evening spot. Fun fact, today is Friday the 13th, and I know that the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror is probably gonna be the longest wait in the park. Like, everyone wants to ride uh, Tower of Terror on Friday the 13th, so maybe we could try to do it a little bit later on. If not, like I said, I just kinda wanna relax and enjoy the evening here. But, I mean, a, tower, a drop on tower is always a good thing. Wow, look at this right here, guys. As we're walking into Toy Story Land, it is so beautiful out right now. Almost majestic. Like this is crazy. I love it so much. Seriously, I don't think I've ever stopped just to look at a sunset as much as this right here. Like holy moly. I don't even know if the camera is doing it justice, but it is absolutely gorgeous out right now. So fun. What a time to be alive. You do care about Sean? I thought somebody was restaurant. Everyone's looking at the sunset. Like I said in the beginning, it is Friday the 13th, and I feel like Tower of Terror should happen. And right now, it's kind of getting stormy out. So that is so crazy. It's a stormy night on Friday the 13th, and I think we're gonna go ride Tower of Terror. Just take a look at the skies here as we make our way over to sunset. This is probably the best time to come ride Tower of Terror. I am so excited. Seriously, this is so epic happening right now. Like, I know it doesn't look too like dark. Oh wait, there you go, never mind. It's definitely dark over there. It's saying the wait time right now is 95 minutes, but the queue isn't outside, so I wouldn't think it's 95 minutes. Now, I do think it's going to be a long wait because I'm sure everybody wants to ride the Tower of Terror on Friday the 13th. Oh, boy. We're getting to the point. Do we stay in line if it starts raining? What do we do? But I feel like a lot of people will abandon ship. Well, then let's take advantage of it. That's what I mean. It's starting to rain a little bit. We have some tree coverage. Ooh! This is the perfect Friday the 13th, though. Huh? Like, seriously. <laughs> it's upon us. Everyone inside. It started raining, but we're here. We're dedicated. We're not leaving, right? We're not leaving. We're not leaving. We're sticking through it. Friday the 13th. Rainstorm, and it's like a big rainstorm. We're here for it. We're here for it. This is what's happening right now, guys. It is so bad out right now. This is the best day of my life. Oh, my Lanta. And we can't go anywhere. We're stuck. We're here for it. I'm sure the lens is probably soaked, but everybody's panicking. The rain has gone and we have finally made it. But you know, the funny thing is the rain stopped, but we got drenched. Like, drenched. Drenched, right? A little wet. But here we are, Friday the 13th. I'm so scared. Are you scared? I'm so scared. Friday the 13th, and it was lightning. It was and so bad. You know? 
Did you know lightning hit the Tower of Terror the before? Did. And they're stuck on the floor. Yep, this is us. Believe it or not, because I kind of look dry right now in the picture, but it was so bad. Like, we got drenched. And it's so cool because I think we have a big enough group that we're going to have our own elevator shaft. Like, that's, that's really awesome. Have our own elevator shaft on Friday the 13th right after a storm. The doors are going to open. Is it warm in there? Wait, did anybody did anybody keep track of the time? Was it 95 minutes? No. Okay, so we got it. Like at, no, we got it. <laughs> 60 minutes, and that was yeah, but that was with a huge rainstorm. Yes. What'd you guys think? <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here. What a fun little Friday the 13th. Got to ride Tower of Terror, come out, check out some cool Disney props and hang out with some friends. I always like bringing you guys along with me, especially when I'm just going out to the park to hang out and chill, because I feel like it's really, it, it's fun. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.